The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. As we return to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour, the s and is up 40, NASDAQ's up uh, 268, NASDAQ, uh, I mean the uh, Dow's up 47. Uh, and, of course, it doesn't matter where you're at in the world as long as you're here at the appointed time. <coughs> The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we have going on today? Well, we are up a little bit on the S&P. We haven't gotten it all back. Um, is this just a bounce in a downtrend? I think so. The problem with short uh, being short is that you have to... Uh, uh, sit through a bunch of days like this. As I said before, it's kind of a, you know, you get a, you get three steps back all one day, and then you get a couple of steps higher, and then three steps down, and that's kind of the bear market out there. It's not always going down, and it gets a little bit better, and everybody hopes springs eternal, and then guess what? You get clubbed again. But uh, I don't think we're done with... Uh, uh, with the uh, weak earnings cycle, or at least the uh, response to it. I think that goes on next week. I was looking for uh, kind of the weak uh, part of the market to come on. And, of course, we had a couple of big bounces, probably because everybody got bearish before they came out with earnings. I don't think they would have moved as much. But, of course, everybody got snapped thinking that uh, if uh, the fascist book uh, got a little bit of a cold, in fact, they kind of had Ebola the other yesterday. But if uh, they were that bad off, then uh, SNAP would have to be uh, would have to be uh, even worse. And of course, yeah, everybody once everybody decides that they want to get on one side, uh, Mr. Market is more than willing to take them to the cleaner. So continue to watch when everybody decides that uh, that uh, that the market is uh, problematic. Uh, but um, you know, I don't see, I look for abject uh, depression uh, to say that you should uh, get out of a bear market. I um, think the uh, first time I really thought about it a lot was Jesse Livermore's book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. In that book, he says uh, if uh, a sudden, what is it, sudden depression, sudden, I think that's what it is, sudden depression. Uh, goes around the entire street, then it's time to start looking at covering. I don't see that as anything. Everybody was still talking about buying stuff. They were a little bit more nervous this morning. But uh, I didn't see the CNBC uh, um, throwing the uh, kitchen sink in on the, the end of the world. But uh, eh, can, it, can we kind of meander around here? Yeah, but I think we're going to continue to see these occasional maybe once a week maybe once every two week big moves lower and it's going to be a real challenge to stay uh short but over uh, a number of days uh probably the uh trend is lower you can call me today at 877-927-6648 you can always email me at path at tfnn.com and some have already and anything else out here? I think that's about it. Um, uh, Eddie wants to know where Apple's going to, uh, to to peg today. I do not know. I haven't. I've been working on something else, and I haven't run the numbers. But let's take a quick look at it and see if there's anything there. Uh, to, to 173.75. Let's take a quick look at the options. APL for today. See if there's anything. By now, you probably should have a fairly good 
analysis, uh, historical data, profile, options. Okay. Expiry for today. So you've got uh, 40,000 options uh, right now on the 175s. You've got 13,000 on the 172.50s. Uh, generally, the lockup is on the 172.50s. So, yeah, um, you've got a lot of uh, a lot just higher. 127,000 at uh, 170. Yeah, uh, at uh, yeah, is that right? Yeah, 127,000 at 220. Uh, 17. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Oh, uh, open and oh, is that different? That can't be right. Maybe they got these columns back. Open interest. I show is thirteen thousand. I show volume is one hundred twenty-seven thousand. Those have got to be backwards. So uh, we shall see. But uh, to me, the action all looks around that one twenty uh, one seventy-two fifty. Uh, trying to get rid of that uh, one seventy-five. Those look like uh, they're probably already baked. 170s, got about 14,800. So I don't know. But I can't believe that volume is right. It's 127,000. Maybe it is. I didn't see what it was doing earlier in the day. Um, but maybe you can, maybe you can uh, email me. I just don't have that up in front of me. But uh, if you just look at the options number right now, uh, where's the biggest volume? And that's at the 172.50s, and that's going to tell you probably what they're going after today. So more likely 172.50. Although our last on Apple is, what is that, 173? Yeah, 172.50. Now, generally all they need to do is get within a quarter of that. So you'd say 172.75. Uh, generally, on that, it's about a quarter, maybe 30 cents um, is close enough to get the action they need. We're going to go to Al in Winter Park. Okay. How you doing? <clears throat> Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. What do you, what do you want yeah. to talk about? I've been looking at ANY Annie. For the last few months, and I don't have a clue of what this technology is about, but I do like what they're saying about um, how they're um, progressing and huge uh, projections, and uh, uh, the stock looks good right now to me. Okay. You had a big Gartley pattern develop. I don't like this big, long leg off to the right. You've got a bounce in, a, in volume today. Um, can you hang on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll review this. I don't understand it, but uh, maybe I will by the uh, time break. So we'll be back at the Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return. Hopefully, we still have Al on from Winter Park. Yep, yep. Are you, are you into big into Bitcoin? No, I don't. Uh, I don't trade. I traded it uh, a couple of years ago. Made some money, but I haven't touched it. Okay, you then. understand this yeah. is a bit. You understand this is a company that makes Bitcoin mining hardware, right? Yeah, that's all. I that's all I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, why you've got a little bit of surge out here in the in the Bitcoin miners, um, and it's up strong today. I don't see a lot of reasons to uh, be in Bitcoin here. Um, I mean, you you got a little bit of a bounce. Uh, also, don't like that uh, they're a Canadian company. The biggest oh. problem the biggest problem is. Uh, is not the cost of this mining equipment. It is the electricity to run it. And there's a lot uh, better, mostly better uh, hardware close and made closer and shipped closer uh, to where the electricity is the cheapest in the Nordic countries. So not a big fan of that. Um, you should look for a big discount on any Canadian companies. I don't know if you listen to me and talk about the Connect discount. If you really yeah, have somebody I, that's smart, they're going to come to the United States or get uh, hired away and get a lot more money. So as soon as the company starts to get hot, all the employees get poached. And it's always a problem with Canadian companies, especially with the taxes and the way they've got everything set up. Everybody wants to come to the United States and make a lot more money. So I don't, sure. yeah. I don't know about this. I certainly, if I was going to get involved with this, I'd go to uh, places where the electricity is absolutely the cheapest. And I thought these guys were in uh, Toronto. Uh, yeah. not, very, not very cheap electricity there, I can tell you that. <clears throat> I had an office in Markham. Toronto. Yeah, I thought I heard you say that. That's why I called, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Um, they're really getting fairly repressive with their... Uh, government too uh so you know i don't know if there's a whole lot of reasons to be in a canadian company right now until maybe they decide uh, that that uh, they like business more than they 
say they do right now. Um, you know, you can you get a, a dead cat bounce? You can. Let's take a look at it here. I mean, uh, you've retraced uh, from the last high out here, which is uh, just under four bucks. What is that tie a day there? 378. You retraced uh, uh, six, yeah, 62 percent. So you're probably going to run. You got some nice volume today, but you're yeah, really lot, just back. Yeah, you're just back. You're just back at resistance, which is at three bucks. So let's take a look at this as just a straight retracement here. Uh, to to to. Let's see out here. Let's get out a little bit. Um, you know, if Bitcoin continues to do well, I'm not exactly sure it will. Uh, but just on a chart reading basis, um, you've got confluence at five. What is that? Five dollars sixty-three cents to six oh two, which is kind of fairly wide. But that's when that's where that gap is uh, from uh, the sixteenth of November. That came down on almost fifteen million shares. You're up today on fifty-one million shares. So it's it's nice. It is a sign of strength. Um, you need this thing to close over, do, 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 what is that, really over $3.78. So you're still $0.78 well, cents from that. Not the way it, yeah. But that would confirm the bottom. Um, so you've got to give up a lot on this one to uh, be in it. Are you long already? No, no. I'm just thinking about buying it uh, like like today or Monday. Yeah, I mean, the time to buy it would have been on the gap up this morning. So that would have probably been the only time that I would have seen any kind of risk reward. Uh, and it, still, at that point, it would be a gamble. Um, you know, if everybody's all hot for Bitcoin going higher, I'm not exactly sure they are. It does have a nice bounce today. But, uh, you know, you've got, uh, you know, uh, if I just looked at it as a chart, didn't know it was Bitcoin, uh, that confluence level at about 563 would be my target. Uh, but that may take a couple of months to get there. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking for a long hold, just short. Yeah, well, weeks, that, would yeah. Be, that would probably be the play for me uh, to get the risk-reward right. You'd probably want to be in it so that it did go to 563. Right, so you've yeah. got a you've got a fairly decent amount of risk here. Um, although you well, got a good I, day, yeah, huh? Yeah, sure, I, but you know, I was trying to connect that to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been beaten up so bad. Uh, I suspect a counter trend rally, and I was. Yeah. You know what? You come. know what Jesse yeah. Livermore. You know what Jesse Livermore said that yeah. always rings yeah, no. true to me. Yeah. Stocks never too high uh, to buy and or too low low to sell. <laughs> it can always go lower and it can always go higher. So, but uh, no, not a bad one. Um, you would expect uh, this to mo more than likely, if it's not just a couple of day wonder, you would expect it maybe to come back down to the low a day. So, let's say 275. If you could get into that area, that's probably where I, you know, look at buying it. And it would have to hold the low of the day today, which is what, 250. <clears throat> okay. No, that sounds reasonable. I was been looking at the chart for many many days. So yeah. Do, do you have okay, any? Well, yeah. Do you have any fundamental reasons why Bitcoin would go higher? And this there, is there are not no a fundamental reasons <laughs> with Bitcoin. It, it's all auction. It's all uh, based on <clears throat> you know exuberance of. You know, millions of people who don't understand trading, but that's okay. Uh, you know, Bitcoin probably will bounce one more time before it falls apart. So, okay. But, so that's I, the way I mean, I'm on, a, I feel. on a chart yeah, basis, yeah. I was I was probably a little bit more bearish when I started than I am now. But uh, you know, risk reward at 275 looks good. Uh, could you get that on Monday? Yeah, that'd probably be where things would line up. Uh, and then, of course, a uh, any close below 250 would be would say that it's going to consolidate out. Okay. 
No, I okay. like that. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank okay. you so much. Bye. I'm not Bye. a big bit. Yeah, I'm not a big Bitcoin fan. Just assuming that it will one day be exactly like the tulips and be <clears throat> worthless in a couple of days. But, uh, yeah, that's- yeah, no, and you know, J.P. Morgan's coming out with their own banking Bitcoin, and that's going to stay stable and never move in price and be used for trading. The other banks will probably jump on. So it'll kill every other Bitcoin out there. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. So when you so when you can, not when you have to. Be back in a minute. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, we've got people trying to call. Uh, yeah, 877 6648 And uh, yeah, maybe they're in the bathroom. We will see. But uh, try again. 877-927-6648. If we have an engineer in there, we have people trying to call. Um, and see, what else do we have? Uh, to, 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 oh, let's do a little history real quick while we're waiting for our caller. There it's all 
just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launches the Facebook, which, of course, later became the Facebook and Metamucil, and the world changes forever. And uh, in, in my opinion, the first five or six years, kind of interesting. Uh, then the descent into evil. And, uh, yeah, kind of a... The... the uh, the algorithm finally was developed to generate narcissists and uh, a lot of other stuff. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, always the, inch, uh, the issues with uh, false outrage. We're going to go to John in Philadelphia. How you doing, John? Hello, David. Thanks for taking the call. Glad to have you. David, I wanted to uh, ask you for your help and, you know, look-see into home-building equities. Um, we could uh, do it probably most simply by looking at two ETFs that contain those. Ticker symbol on those are ITB and XHB. And those price patterns, I'm going, I'm looking at like the weekly chart going back 18 months. The weekly chart on both of those and uh, the weekly charts for the big home builders, Lennar, um, uh, DHI, Pulte, Toll, they all look pretty much the same. So what I'm um, interested in, David, first the observation uh, of course, rising interest rates and possibly a slowing economy and a more uh, constrained Federal Reserve uh, is clearly a negative a fundamental factor for uh, home building and, and for the stocks. No surprise there. And in fact, there's been a good decline in all of those the past uh, two months. But what I observe in all of those names and those price patterns, there was a top way back, oh gosh, what was it, May? Yeah, it was May 10th last year, a decline, a bounce of decline, then it moved to higher highs, and now this decline. And since, uh, you know, since Memorial Day last year, each decline has come down and bottomed in the same area, and we're approximately there right now. Uh, I... Uh, I'm not a raging bull on these, but when I see this sort of price pattern where uh, price is coming into the same area, making lows repeatedly, I always go through the process of at least asking the question, uh, is there a bull case that I can envision because I can buy it here with stops under lows, and if it goes under, I take a loss, and that loss is small, and maybe I catch, you know, a good rally. So that's the background. What do you think? What do you see on these, please? Well, you certainly had, uh, if you're watching on Tiger TV or in the den, one of the things I dislike and, and kind of my theory is that if you come down on more energy that you went up on, that, that one or two things, either you're going lower, or are you going to consolidate for a while before you put in a low? So either one of them means that they are probably not worth trying to buy the low on. Now, on this one, you have a higher volume low at 65.81 than you did at the last one that was uh, 3.7 million shares back on October 6th. Uh, on my Power Law Vector indicator number, you get uh, 4.3 on the way up uh, off that uh, October 6th low. Uh, for the low on January 28th, after it came down, you had a 5.6. So you had about 22, 23% more energy on the way down than you had on the way up. You had a high 3 million shares on December 13th. You retested that with 2 million shares. You didn't quite go above it, but it was close enough to be 30% or uh, actually 33% light, right? So everything on this chart says bearish. Not anything really says bullish. Uh, the one thing that you can get in housing uh, and previous housing patterns is that when interest rates go up, a lot of the people, you know, the first tick or something, they'll say, hey, I need to get in before it's all over. So you get kind of a little bounce right before the, the whole thing uh, goes to hell. 
and you may have already gotten that up to seventy yes, indeed. Yep. Oh, 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 seven. Uh, I would say more than looking at this. I mean, there's such a high correlation uh, that you want to look at the TLT. Um, if you, uh, for those listeners not paying attention today or uh, just uh, wandering in on the bond market, we had a three-year high in the uh, 10-year today, or a four-year, back to 2019. That's uh, three years. So a whole lot there. I got somebody... Uh, uh, I actually have somebody wanting to buy puts in them that just emailed me. Um, you know, I'm thinking that the, the TLT breaks through next week. Maybe we gap down on Monday. So I, I certainly don't think that today is any time to go after it. Uh, I would say that the lows will probably come in as we challenged uh, either 134.78 or 131.95, the two previous lows in the TLT. Now, that may be muted as the Fed is not quite done buying bonds, but they're almost there, right? And, of course, we had the ECB yesterday saying that uh, they won't buy any bonds after, I think, the first week in March. So... You know, the, the, they say that markets are a discounting uh, uh, mechanism for the future. I don't see a whole lot out here other than maybe a little lighter volume today. Could you get a bounce on Monday in the TLT? Maybe, but I, I think everybody's running for the exits. Uh, David, thank you much for uh, going through all of that on the ITB, the ETF for home builders. Uh, and as I listen to you, just uh, reiterate uh, your uh, outlook and assessment of TLT and interest rates. You know, it just uh, occurs to me looking at that long bond futures contract uh, at the 153 level. Of course, the first time 153 was hit was March of last year. And that gave way to a bottom and a good bounce. And then 153 was uh, hit just, uh, what, two, three weeks ago. And now we came down to it again today. That's certainly, that's certainly what I've heard Tom O'Brien uh, describe as a pattern that is, quote, unquote, a building cause coming to ice and prepared to jump the creek. And in this case, it would be lower. So uh, that. Bond, uh, bond uh, contract, uh, the bond futures contract with its price action, the current price that fits with what you're saying on the TLT. So uh, okay. thanks very much. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. comment in the den about the jobs numbers. Uh, I actually started working on those this morning and uh, there's no way those numbers were right. I'm going to say that someone went to whoever at the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics went to the uh, Madoff School of Accounting on that because you can't be that far off uh, unless you deliberately wanted to be. And my guess is uh, the word came down is we don't want anything that looks good because uh, we don't want the Fed to raise rates. So, well, Jimmy, now, of course, uh, they already said what they were going to say. And so yeah, we better fix all this before it looks too bad. But uh, I don't think you can be 300,000 off on a jobs number. I don't know how you would. I, I tell you what, if I was off that far. I would I would feel so ashamed I'd have to quit. I don't think that uh, you can phony the numbers that much and, and not have any shame. So that's my belief on it. But uh, kind of like uh, I, I did kind of look through it, and uh, they're basically saying that they were six standard deviations off. And I don't know how you get six standard deviations off. They never have been. So that's it. <laughs> Yes, the Madoff School of Accounting had 20 years of exemplary service in one bad day, and that was it. But uh, I remember the guy uh, that uh, talked about that. He said, uh, "Was this a yeah? Having his record was the same thing as batting 958 uh, in uh, pro baseball every year for 10 years. It just doesn't happen." Uh, but uh, no, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking that we're going to continue to have a lot of this stuff. It becomes incredibly hard to remain short in a market um, where you always think that man, maybe it's going to come back. Maybe it's come back. And uh, we talked about this last week, and that is that uh, you've got kind of a rule of alternation, and that is if you get a sharp move up that's really linear, three, four, five days, and then you get these really jagged moves on the opposite side of that. Same thing on the way down. If you have a straight down move, then it, it's very jumpy, uh, huge moves, makes it almost impossible to stay long. And then you get back in there and you get a big sharp move down for several days that just doesn't quit and you think the end is there and then it hits a bottom and then you get these things that you can't hold on the upside because they're all over the place and it that's kind of i think it was a prector thing where he called it the rule of alternation making it just miserably hard uh but generally if you go uh down um uh, kind of linearly you can draw a line and not a lot of differences then the next one is incredibly jagged on the way up but uh yeah that's it our new sponsor the madoff school of accounting dewey cheatham and how attorneys okay uh anything else going on out here um 
probably the big thing is to, you know you've got a Friday you're going to have like volume already. We're doing about 7.4 billion shares, so it's not like a lot of volume came in either at the bottom or the top. But I'm not a big fan. As I said, I'm just waiting for that other shoe to drop. Um, somebody in the den just brought this up, so I did look at it, and that is uh, Ark Investments. They got a little bit of a bounce coming up out of here, uh, but uh, probably a good chance you're going to retest that 64.35 sooner rather than later. On the TLT, what I'm looking for, like I said, I think we're going to get a uh, big gap down. You really have a, a gap right here at about 180, uh, 148 to 146-ish. Uh, you have a gap on the way back up that was fairly large from about 140 to 142. That came back down. My guess is you're going to get one or two more big gaps down in this to get back into that low. 129.60 is the March 18th low of 2021. You'll have 132.46 is the May 12th low. Now, remember already on the 10-year, we made a high uh, that's the highest since uh, early in 2019. So this, I think, of anything, the TLT's behind the curve. And, of course, uh, the TLT pushing that uh, flattening curve. So we're going to continue to to look at this. And, of course, this is the uh, not the tail. This is the dog. Uh, the equity markets are the tail. And the bond market is at least 10 times, uh, even now, bigger than what the uh, actual uh, equity market is in dollars. So when you see a little move in the TLT, uh, of a dollar, just figure you had a five dollar, uh, a uh, a four percent move uh, in the uh, S and P, because that's about historically what it's worth. They are moving much faster that than that these days. But my guess is this thing's just going to melt. You're going to have some big gaps down, and eventually uh, you'll get settled in for some kind of low based on whatever the Fed decides. Uh, is the time to quit uh, raising interest rates. And again, this is going to be a tale of two cities this year. There are going to be stocks that do very well, those stocks that don't care what the interest rates are, and its customers don't care a lot about what the interest rates are. So companies like uh, Apple, are they affected a great deal? No, they got lots of cash, and their customers are buying something that's $1,500 maybe at the top end. So are they really worried about a little higher interest rate? Probably not. So not so bad. But if you're talking about somebody buying a $1.5 million dump truck from John Deere or, or uh, actually the other one, uh, Cat, Caterpillar, uh, or if you're talking about somebody buying a million and a half dollar implement uh, for their farm, now they're paying, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars $400 more a month for that bigger thing you know anytime you start talking steel something heavy something that you can't move without a crane uh they do not like or tend to like higher interest rates question if uh anything's going to happen uh with this bill making its way in congress to encourage more people uh to uh or more companies to build chips here in the united states um there's a reason why everybody left the United States, and that was the EPA literally chased them out. Uh, Intel kept some contracts because uh, they were making stuff for the military. But there's a reason why everybody else left. Pretty much everybody else left. Now, the question is, are they going to uh, ease up on these folks, or are they going to step on their throat and hold uh, the foot down again? There's always uh, regulatory issues in anything, and my guess is that uh, why we ha may have more people moving out of Taiwan, probably not, not, not going to move to the United States. They may move to Mexico or somebody uh, where they're not uh, always worried about that. Uh, closer to home, maybe Canada, but again, those guys are pretty much on the uh, leading edge, the tip of the spear for EPA. Uh, but uh, you need lots of water, you need lots of ultra pure water. And you also have to have somebody that didn't chase you around because you use a lot of rare earth minerals and other toxic stuff uh, to go along with it. So uh, if they're always chasing you around, you find an easier place to go.
877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're getting ready to wrap up yet another week out here. Uh, got some questions. Uh, they're all about the same thing, and that is... Uh, what do I see for the uh, close out here today? Uh, let's take a quick look here. A A P L. One thirty eight. Yeah, uh, still thinking one seventy two fifty one seventy two seventy five for Apple. That would be pretty good for wiping out a great deal of those uh, uh, those uh, calls and not making it worth uh, the while. So probably a, a tiny bit, eh, let's call it 50 cents to the downside before the close. That wouldn't be a big deal for Apple, but certainly would wipe out a lot of value of those uh, calls that are sitting out there uh, that expire today. Uh, and, of course, uh, more of a question about what's going to happen over the overall indexes. We had a huge pop. I want to say, I don't know, an hour ago or something, an hour and a half ago, in the advanced decline line. Um, and that kind of, I think, probably was the buying climax for the day. I don't think there's a lot of downside. I don't just don't think that there's a lot of upside for the day. But, uh, yeah, the volume is going to be a little lighter on that side. Um, don't have a lot of people that were buying uh, 
puts yesterday, so that continues to make me think if we didn't have a bunch of people buying puts today when I see that data tonight, um, and I'll come in, in with my newsletter Monday morning talking about it, then I'll still think that all we're doing is having some uh, two steps forward, waiting for the three-step. No, I won't even call it three steps. We're going to call it the long jump back and two steps forward. And a long ja long anyway. Uh, so probably that week. But I'm looking for the big gap down. Maybe that happens next week. Uh, maybe on the back of ECB. Maybe it's a, several things are going to get it to happen. But I'm still waiting for that uh, big gap down in the bonds next week. Deal. 877. Oh, done. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back on Monday. Same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs>